Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to our Austrian campaign in EU4 with me, your host, Lucky Brain. And uh, we're feeding Kiev. Uh, we. We conquered a noodly appendage, uh, which included the singular province of Kiev. We called it. We added it to the empire. Uh, we had to add a chain of these provinces to the empire in order to get to Kiev. So it was called, it was added to the empire, we then gave it back to them via this button here, and returned the province to the Grey Shield and not to Lithuania. So Kiev is now, Kiev started life as a one province miner, so their capital had to be in Kiev. So because their capital was in the HRE, they automatically joined the HRE. And now we're selling him these provinces here. Uh, and we'll grow him. And he's not going to be on this list. He's not a part of the Vassal Swarm. Because we popped him out much like we did with uh, Silesia. Much like we did with Switzerland. See everyone's got blue. They're still got grey. We know that they're not part of our immediate alliance. That's because we revoked the privilege here before plopping them out. At some point, at some point when we've, we've got quite a few of these... Um, these uh like the the Teutonic order as well um when when we've collected a few like seven or eight of them that aren't part of the empire that aren't part of the, the gang then we'll we'll declare a war against somebody insignificant um we'll probably win the war however um we'll offer tribute and in offering tribute we can revoke one of the reforms we'll revoke the privilege yeah it won't take as long not at this amount of generation this point generation to get back to revoking the privilege here. We'll uh, revoke it again and on revoking it a second time it will include Switzerland and Silesia and Teutonic Order and Navarra and Naples and Aragon and Kiev and whoever we pop out. Um, Hungary. I want to get them integrated because I want to do the same thing with Hungary as I did with Kiev here so we can pop out um, Transylvania and who is it up here? Nitra and Albania and Serbia. Anyone else? Greece, even. Yep. Just everybody that we can so that we split down the big countries into smaller ones that are more efficient. I, I think I, I mentioned in the last episode. Um, Like Silesia. Silesia can raise seven troops from one province. We can't raise seven troops from every single one province that we've got. We're not as uh, we're not as efficient as that. So we want lots and lots of tiny countries, and that's what we're we're trying to go for. In the meantime, why are we why are we waiting? We should be straight at war. We're waiting for Lisa Core, aren't we? We are waiting for these to core so that we can then subsequently add them to the HRE. I don't think you can do that whilst you're at war. So that when we take Girona, we can release Aragon as a one promise miner. We can release, we can already release uh, um, Davara as one promise miner, miner from Santion. And I'm fairly sure. That we're going to be able to release Navarra just from vir by well just by virtue of it being adjacent uh, directly to the HRE. I don't know if HRE adjacency will work through across the water. I don't think it does. I think we're going to have to grab Labor Navarra as well. And we can fabricate on it from across the sea tile, but I don't think we can add it. I don't know. Although saying that, I remember when Croatia added themselves to the HRE, and it Hungary wasn't was never part of the HRE. Um, so 
Yeah, they're just our vassal. But later in the game, when we start creating client states, I want as many of these free as we can. We've got much access through Russia. So you have Lackey and Hungary. I want to try and uh, integrate them, if I can. Now Valakia, we forced their religion, so they're going to be mega pissed off with us. Still mega pissed off with us. Plus, they're also getting their independence. Supported by... Nobody. It's fairly certain that they were getting their independence supported by Spain. But no. Fine. Lose legitimacy. Kiev, do you want more stuff? You don't want it. Is there another right culture for you? Belarusian, Ruthenian. Right. We ought to sell Kiev the stuff down here. Hold on, 1661. At some point, we're going to have to build the navy. We really are. Go on. We have some coastal provinces. All our sailors used. Oh, random free merchant. Where do I put you? Alright, transfer from there. Nope. Transfer from there instead. A gift from Burgundy. <laughs> Thank you, Burgundy. Let's do some building. Now the next stage, next institution is based on universities. That one was on manufacturers, and we had quite a few manufacturers already built, so we could embrace that really, really quickly. The alignment will be based upon universities, and that will have a similar spread rate based on the universities that we have built. I grab you. Okay. Is there a policy that we can add? To plan X. We need to complete influence ideas. We'll run away, but we won't be generating enough points. Yeah, we won't be generating enough points. Let's go level three. They'll be generating two points. Now if we can if we can get enough points together to grab this policy to grab this idea to grab that policy then we'll save a lot of money points this will just it'll go it'll jump from like 70% done to 98% done there we go Spain we might be able to get it. Is this done yet? Need to add it to that, Jory. I also need to go with, need to go to war with the Ottomans. 
of a uh, housing. Reconquest. Reconquest. Oh, bells. What the hell is bells? Hang on. See Kiev not getting involved. Kiev, Teutonic Order, Switzerland, Silesia. That's why we need the to revoke a reform and then do it again. So we'll go, we'll go to war with someone insignificant, like Poland or something. Do you have allies? You don't. We'll go to war with someone like Poland. We'll crush them, obviously. But then we'll... In this screen, instead of demand a tribute, tribute, we'll offer the tribute, and we'll offer to revoke an imperial reform. Which they will accept. Is that you? You. And you. We can now give you to over. We can't do it right now. First of our heavy ships have arrived, which is good to see. We're going to need it for the Ottomans. We're going to need it for the um, especially for the British. Excellent. Just on a order adding stuff to the HRE. It's always nice to see. Excellent. Excellent. So the HRE grows. The HRE grows. When we press the button. When we press that button. To, uh, to bring everything under our direct control. We're going to be absolutely massive. And it's going to be mega high development stuff. It's like when we did the Knights playthrough. And we had like all of... Not quite that India. Uh, all of like that. It looked impressive. But this is where the good stuff is. If you can consolidate the entirety of Europe. You know you've had a good game. So Denmark now no longer exists. That's kind of good for us. Because that means that when we uh, release Jaitland again, it's going to release Denmark and we can give them uh, Danish stuff. Demand on lawful territory. Well, we've already got the Imperial ban on you. So, and you don't have allies. Oh, Sweden. Oh, Sweden. It's alright, Sweden. We'll, uh, we'll resurrect you once we've eaten you. How is this? Okay. Great proper fleet, former alliance with Brittany, conquers Jayland. Yeah, go for that. There's 10 prestige. I'll grab Admin. What is it? Production efficiency. Okay. We might get there. We might get there. I mean, with Hungary, we could enable scootage and then disable scootage and then enable scootage and disable scootage until his liver desire got above 50 and it would halt this. We'll, we'll try it out. We'll try it out for. to show you. Oh, you can only do it with, uh, I suppose you can siphon income. You can only do it with vassals. 
it would appear. Although, for you to lock somebody on improving relations with Hungary. I reckon we could probably do that again. Since 34, we need about another two. from the inside by particularists as well. Okay. Now that I've been at 52, it should have halted the integration. So you click. Yep. Stayed at 54.2. So if you need to, if you desperately need to, and it's a vassal, then do the... Uh, Enable scootage, but if it's a PU partner, do the, the siphon income. I mean, that's only stopped it for three months, we're going to have to do it again once Hungary's got to, uh, once we've got them back into green numbers here. Grab our ships. Galleys in inland seas, however, well, galleys are more efficient, but we're not really concerned about efficiency right now. We're just we have all the ships. If we can pump out 20 heavies, why not? Why not? So if I've been, I would need a diplo. Yeah. We should be able to use these heavies to good effect against England. We'll also need transports as well. Okay. Maintain with them. Let's go help these guys. And force these out. Someone has died. That's unfortunate. So, mainly transports against 22 heavies. Got even more Diplo. Right. And you, kill inflation advisor. That would help a lot. Yeah, good. Ovens. Let's get out, shall we? We can release Corfu from you. And Naxos. still a thing. Does look like the mom looks or I think. Uh, 
Um, I think Mazovia we can pop out here as well. That'll do. Okay, so, you. Call you and can we, oh, we can release Greece. Naxos has lost the cause. Greece hasn't. Corfu has. Um, looks like these are permanent. Yep. So we'll release Greece down here. So, let's go for Athens. We'll core it first. We'll core it and the other ones around it will change their religion. We'll call Greece. We will um, change the religion. Not call Greece. We'll call Athens. We'll change the religious religion of Athens, and then we'll give it back to the Greeks. Well, then we'll give it to the Greeks, um, and then give them all the stuff around, which at that point should then be the right religion for them. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother coring the stuff around here. Yeah, this is gonna be expensive stuff. Yeah, let's not bother that. We'll release Greece. Add Athens to the uh, the empire. Needs to be adjacent. Needs to be adjacent. But you're adjacent. All right, stop that. We'll call you. Apparently you have adjacency somewhere. Somehow. Corfu. Corfu has adjacency via the sea tile with a Ragusa. So we can add Corfu to the HRE. Release Greece. By return the province. Cost a bit prestige, but we're already maxed out at 100. It'll be Catholic. be core, it'll be HRE, and the same thing happened here as happened with Kiev. And they should add the rest of their land. In the meantime, are you a different religion? No, Catholic Zealots, why have you got Catholic Zealots here? French Pretender Rebels. LOL. Um, Leone. Actually, all the stuff around here. Do we need access? I don't think we do. Um, we need we need provinces on the periphery of wherever we're expanding. But all the stuff in the middle we could probably fob off onto other people. Maybe. Excellent. Playful influence has gone up. Uh, what do we spend it on? Your legitimacy. We are lacking a little bit in the legitimacy. But it's going up by two every year. Don't need that. Diplo rep. We don't need any more diplo rep. If anything, we need. We need less. We need to 
slow down the integration of Hungary. Fort. You need this fort. You don't. I don't think you will either. Just rely on the uh, the vassal blobbing. Now we can make states. Pripyat. Kiev, do you want more stuff? Guaranteed by the Almonds. <laughs> nice one, nice try. Apparently, we, I think we can get an achievement if we guarantee France, the Almonds, and there's somebody else. So then we can get an achievement for something. Nope. Yep, not about them. not piss everybody off. We had that event that did piss everybody off, so... Three Cardinals. Can we not spend our stuff on anything? Forgive usury. That just run out. How are we getting on? 12, make 12 ducats from gold. Have we picked up another gold mine somewhere? Okay, okay. Carry on. For us, sunny. sunny. The sunny stuff is usually notoriously hard, but it takes less than a year for us. You are now all Catholic. You are of Greek culture, though, so you, Greece, once we pop them out, Greece will accept all of this. That's what we'll do. We'll uh, we'll wait till that's called. We'll uh, we'll plop Greece out. We'll give him. We'll sell him all the uh, all this stuff down here. Even if it's even if it's at zero, he'll plop out. He'll add himself to the HRE, much like Kiev did, much like Teutonic Order did, much like Silesia, Silesia did, and Switzerland, who's on there somewhere. There we go. Okay. Okay, okay, and the next war, next war I want with Spain, the one after that is going to be with uh, Sweden, we'll release, you're already part of the empire, so all we need to do is take this and then release Denmark, uh, and we can probably give Denmark a load of this stuff, I mean I know it's stuff that we have built on and we have developed, and we are kind of weakening ourselves, but we're, we're already at a point where with the click of a button, all this becomes ours anyway. So, the bigger we directly grow, the harder it is, the, the longer it takes to call things. So, if we can keep ourselves relative, relatively tiny, relatively small, then we should be able to call our way across the world pretty quickly. Anyway, I did to the HRE. Plop out Greece. Greece is a member of the HRE. I'll wait till this has finished with his. There we go. Now, oh, Greece, let's sell your stuff. Say that for nothing. This will take a while. Fifteen diplo, grab that. Should 
Should want all of it. It's his culture. His religion. It's stuff that we don't need to go. It's part of the HRE. It's it's all gonna work well for us. I'm hungry. Is there any point? Is there any point in trying to delay this? No. Chris, let's sell you another province. Can we sell them more than one at once? We can't. Twenty-third of May. I mean, we don't need the money from this. We don't need the the few ducats that they would give us. Once Hungary has been integrated, we can sell Greece. This guy. This. Not that that will go to Albania. Share that with Serbia. We'll release Serbia as well. But <clears throat> Greece isn't in this list. It's not one of our direct diplomatic relations. He's in this list. And so we, we can have the likes of Kiev that we can plop out and feed them land. That's going to be part of the HRE. We can plop out Greece and feed them land and be part of the HRE. And Navarra. And Aragon. And Naples. And Denmark. And continue to feed these hundreds and hundreds of, of vassals. And it not impact on diplo relations. And these can be quite big. I mean, look at Savoy. They've got a standing arm of 35,000. We're feeding back Greece all of his cores. Is that Bulgaria? Yep. So when we integrate Valachia, we, we can plop out Bulgaria. I think Hungary can split down into about four or five separate countries. So we're going to try and work our way across the world, spitting out little tiny countries, feeding them all the cores, spit out the next tiny country, feed them all the cores. And hopefully not go over our, our relation limit. And then at the end, just click the button to to bring everyone into uh, into the fold. Anyway, that, that episode has been a little bit longer than usual, but I wanted to, uh, well, I don't know what usual is these days, but I wanted to, to get this sorted out first uh, before we we turned our attention to Spain in the next episode. So, I've been Lucky Marine, as always, you lot have been amazing. Join me next time for that war with Spain. Until then, do take care.